Logan City Lanes. We're here for the 1989 Goldfin Coca-Cola Classic. And this is the fourth knockout. The winner goes on to play Tom Curie in the final. We're looking at Dana Milamaki, formerly of the United States, a pro bowler. And now a resident of Sydney. First up. Oh, straight into the pocket. Great start there, Terry. That was a great start from Dana. The last game, 266, 267. She just really wants to get out there. She's just such a, a good player. You can't say enough about her. She's keen. Look at that. Wants it, wants it. She says, thank you. But now he's Ken. Ah, oh, yes. Strike for strike. Kenny Sheehan. He's a local. Plenty of support here from the crowd at Logan City. 54 years of age from Virginia. A bowling centre manager. And he's appeared in two previous Cokes, the 88 Caboolture Open winner and runner-up in the Bundamba Cup. He's also bowled for Australia and a state representative as well. And Ken, as he is affectionately known, the old man would love to win another major before retiring. Ken would love to win this. He would give anything to win. He's just such a good player. He's been in the game so long. This promised to be a great match, and that's what we're witnessing early on, a double to Ken Sheen. Tony, what did you think? Did you think Ken would get up this quick? Oh, Terry, this is a great start from Ken. What a feather in the cap this would be if he, if he could beat Dana. What a great match. And, of course, she has bowled 309 times in her career, a host of titles, and she is a bowler the U.S. circuit. Get up, get up, get up, get up. And a shaky start for her. She's also won a U.S. Open. She wants to be Bowler of the Year here in Australia. Had a great tournament so far. Beat Sam Romeo in round one. And Kelly in round two, 267 to 236. A great form leading into this. And uh, there's Ken Sheehan taking it easy as his opponent lines up. She has a diploma in phys ed and teaching from the New Mexico Uni in Albuquerque, where she used to reside. Oh, there's the first frame left open. It's a shaky start, Terry. Yes, it is a shaky start. The ball stays out, hits the head pin too full. The both pins kick around each other and don't take out the back pin. That's where these spares are pretty difficult. As we've said here before, open frames, not a good place to open the second frame. As I said before, you're better off opening the first if you're going to open any. But she's got to come back with a strike. She can do it. She's a great player. And I'm sure she'll steady herself up. You can see her blowing into the thumb hole there to get all the moisture out. She wants a wants a thumb clean out of the ball so she can get everything a good feel and get a good strike well tony what do you think well terry i think that double that ken's open with has really unmitted her a little bit she's really sort of uh, lost a bit of the concentration that she's noted for out there you see here she's going through good extension but no the ball's a little bit inside she's going through and leaving the number two and four pin see it from the side angle good extension good release just missed a target Beautiful to watch, isn't she? Oh, tremendous. Player. Tremendous technician of the game. There's the spare safely. Of course, she is a, an aerobics instructor. And fitness in bowling is at a similar par to other sports, such as uh, swimming, tennis and horse riding, a moderate sports as far as exercise is concerned. Here we go back to Ken. Can he get three and really put some pressure in early? He didn't like it, but he'll take it. That's three in a row for Ken Sheehan. And, of course, a perfect game of 300. A new Holden Nova. As we have a look at it again on replay. We see Ken going through the Brooklyn strike again here. That key shot, that one. Yes, that's the break he needs. More pressure on Dana. He loved it, too. Yes, he he loved it. And speaking of a break, we might take one here on Nines Wide World of Sports. And we'll be back shortly with more action. Coca-Cola Clan Goldpin, Coca-Cola Classic. This is Ken Sheard. He's on a hot streak at the moment, guys. He's got three in a row, looking for four. He certainly has. Ken's really going to do this. As we said before, Ken is a very, very tough competitor. These old players just really deal it to the young people, and they want to win. No, not a bad shot. Won't like it, of course, but uh, he's still got three in a row up. Dana's had the open frame. He just wants to get out there, get his spare, and put it back on Dana. He's got a good shot going. See it here. He just pulled a little, pointing left. Didn't go. But he wants to get this. 
Now it does so safely. Well done. Changes to the harder ball, Chris, using the harder ball for his spare and covers it well. See the ball here going down the outside of the lane, not hooking. All set, ready to get him a great shot. That's walking as it's halfway down the line. He was confident of that one. Very confident. Well, here we go. Here's Dana. Will she make a run from now? She has to do something very quick or Ken will get on top too, too early. Give it a chance. Hurry! Well, she's not really that confident in the early match. In a 267, she got lined up real quick. And here you can see her. She's gone wide on this line. She made an adjustment. Now she's gone heavy. You can hear her calling to hurry. Didn't get there. Got a break, though. Kicked out the split. Just got to go back, pick up the spare. Yeah, it does so. She's used to pressure. Of course, having won the Gold Pin Coca-Cola Classic of last year, when we had two sections, both men's and women's. So we check out the style. Good extension. Good extension for that shot there is great. She needs to extend the ball to the left to make that spare. Notice yeah, when she spares, she stays more upright. When you get the ball to slide, that's yep. the, the premium is to get the ball to slide, not grip the line. Yep, definitely makes the ball go longer, Terry. Yeah, what we can see. What's Dana going to do now? She's got a strike. She's got to get something going to put the pressure on Ken. Hurry. Well, Tony, she said the same thing there. She wanted the ball to hurry. Obviously, the ball's jumping up on her or definitely just not getting down the lane. Jumping up too early, I think, Terry. I think she's trying to actually hurry to the Brooklyn, if anything. Uh, she's inside a target. You see her take down through the swing here. Down early. And then hooks early. She gets down very, very low. A lot of pressure on that left leg. A lot of compression right at the foul line, Terry. You'll see her compress down through the ball. A great player. If you're really going to emulate any style, that's the one to do it. Certainly. Cleans up the spare. Nicely done. Well, this stage, Chris, where Dana's had five frames and she's really not lined up yet. We've seen her strike quite easily in the previous matches. This one here, she's really not lined up yet, and Ken can really jump on it then. Well, same shot as before. Knows what he's done wrong, but Ken's tough. Just go back, pick up the spare, put it out of his mind, and go back on with it. You see here, ball goes down, hooks early, goes across, says thank you. And a beautiful clear pickup. He's sparing well, as I said before, the open frames are extremely costly in these matches. And they're costing everybody. Terry, as you know very well, Ken throws a full roller shot and it's noted for being a great spare shot in the game. That's true, very good. And he's actually a bit unusual, actually, that he's, uh, that he's out here competing with the modern players. Well, it shows how versatile a shot can be if you utilise it well. A bad break there for Ken, Tony? Unlucky, unlucky. It was a good ball. Good ball right in the pocket. Couldn't have put it anywhere better than that. See it go down the outside here, holding up well. He likes it. Rides it out. That was a solid 10. See the ball. It's not gripping that lane a bit. But safely spares. As you said, spares are the key. He hasn't missed any. He's really put it on to Dana. Dana has to strike. She must start striking now. Or else the match could get away from him a little bit here. She's got the advantage, Terry, of having those early three strikes where Dana's only thrown one. Plus she's got the open frame. And the open frame. Let's see if she can do here. Kerry. Yeah, there it is. This could be the start of a fight back from Dana Milamaki. Crowd enjoying it here at the Logan City Lanes. I've seen her in the past where she's been playing playing bowlers. She's opened up with a couple of opens. The first punched out with the last six. She can do it. She wanted that one. She was very animated with that one. The 1989 Gold Pin Coca-Cola Classic continues after this break. And at the moment, Ken Sheehan is 31 pins ahead of Dana Milamaki. The 1989 Gold Pin Coca-Cola Classic here on Nine's Wide World of Sports. We're watching the fourth knockout. The winner of this progressing to the final against Tom Curie. That'll be a fantastic match. The loser bowing out with $2,000. Compliments of Gold Pin and Coca-Cola. Hurry! Yeah, this could be the start. We've seen uh, Dana normally quick out of the blocks. A little bit of a shaky start, but now she's starting to get it. This is really good. She's got a 
got a momentum going. She's got the ball down the line. She's been saying hurry. She wants the ball to get to the pocket before it hooks into the nose. Look at that aggression. But here's Ken. He wants one to get back, back into the match. Ooh. That 10 pin again, Terry. Yes, it comes up to soft 10. Again, with this type of roll, being a full roll, if he pushes it a little bit too much, it's not going to carry the 10. The ball's not going to roll into the pocket. It's going to be still sliding a bit too much, not having the drive that, uh, that the three-quarter roll produces. Safely Make. picks it up. Makes a spare well on that one. Certainly is. He's used to this sort of pressure. An interesting situation. He got three strikes. He hasn't struck for four frames. Dana was a bit shaky to start. Now she's striking. We've seen in the matches that anything can happen in these last three frames. Let's see what he does here. When Brooklyn pointed it out to us, but the desired result. Exactly as we've seen here so often during the tournament, this Brooklyn shot is really the shot to play. It's winning, it's winning matches. It's winning games. Although he didn't want it to go there, he's pointed it go. He wants it to get there. He'll take it. That still gives him 10. And uh, Dana now has to stay clean. She has to keep striking. It's really put the wood back on her. Now we'll see, Terry, what Dana's made of. Hurry. Hurry. Oh, unlucky. The ball just hooking up early on that one. Interesting here to note, Dana's actually throwing the same shot all the time. Like, she may not be getting the ball into the pocket, but she's doing the same thing all the time, which shows she's a great player because she's doing the same thing all the time, which is the the real essence of bowling, isn't it, Tony? Yes, Terry. She just needs to make a minor adjustment out there and that it'd be right in the pocket. Hurry, 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 hurry. Pulling that one through. Successful, though. She really wants that ball to hurry. She seems to be running out, uh, running out of lane. She doesn't like the ball rolling up. It seems to be jumping a bit too much in the back end for her at the moment. Oh, there's a bit of gap in those two, but covered them well. Well, Chris, she has to strike now. That's all there is to it. If she strikes out, she can strike out for a possible 212. Ken strikes out, he can shoot 244. She has to strike here to have any chance at all in the match. No. She totally no. lost that shot, don't you think, Tony? That was probably Very the worst shot she's bowled in three, three matches out here. Very uncharacteristic of a professional player of Dana's ability. It's just totally out of character. I don't know. See if we can see a fault there. No, no, there's nothing in the style that looked bad. Just didn't simply come up to the pocket. She just didn't really, she seemed to misrelease the ball. Maybe she tried something different. She knew she had to get the ball straighter. As we said, the ball's jumping in the back end. She's gone for a little bit of more forward roll so that it wouldn't overreact in the back end. And it stayed left. Covers the spare well. Well, this match is fairly sort of delicate at the moment. Ken sitting in the box seat. Ken's really just got to stay clean these, la these last three frames, and he really has sewn the match up. Dana can only shoot 199. He's going at a 210 pace, even if he just spares out. He's looking pretty good. And if he strikes out like that, it'll be 244. And that just puts the match away. As I said before, Ken loves this. Ken, of course, being the old man of the game, wants to get in there, wants to let people know that he's still there. And we'll take a break here on Nine's Wide World of Sports with Ken Sheehan leading by 25 pins and on his way to the final against Tom Curie. He lanes and the 1989 Gold Pin Coca-Cola Classic. This is Ken Sheehan. He's on his way to the final and a contest with Tom Curie. Surely, uh, Terry, he'd like to strike out here, make that 244 to give him plenty of confidence for that big one. Dana Miller, she has to take uh, a back seat. You called it, Chris. He wants to strike out. He wants to inflict pain. Again, he wants to make sure that Tom knows that he's around, that he's there. He really is a good player. He is just trying to win this. He this really is a great is. shot here, Terry. We'll see the ball going down the lane right in the pocket. There goes that 10 pin again. Great shot it is. See it again. Ball straight in the pocket. 10 in the pit. That's what you want every time. Yep. The uh, Gold Pin Association selected a lot of Queenslanders for this tournament, Chris. And uh, it looks like it's going to pay off with two of them in the finals. Well, he won't strike out, but certainly a pretty convincing victory here for Ken Sheehan. And he'll move into that final. <laughs> Safely picks up the spare. And takes a well-earned rest and finishes with a 233. 
As Dana said when she was commentating, you see there, she's changed balls. She's going to try another shot. There's always time to learn. You learn every time you go out there. As I said, she tried another shot. She obviously had something else in mind that she may have been able to do during the match. She tries it. doesn't work. It puts her pretty much at rest in it knowing that she did her best and she gave it her all. Yes, Terry, she's definitely learning each time she throws that ball. She's seeing what the reaction of the ball is, seeing that one doesn't come up the hairpin either. So it may well help her in her next match. Wherever that may be, whenever she goes out there, she can certainly learn by this. Spares it up. Again, that's another ball. Again, on that, with that ball there, like she left the head pin standing, so it really means she's got a free shot. She can try something different, try a new line. She's thrown that ball out a bit more, given it a bit more, seen that it's come in, and maybe that would have worked in the, uh, during the match. Boy, okay. what a stylist, Terry. She's just beautiful. Gets down low, ball close to the foot, gets right through it. Here she goes. See what she does with this one. See, she strikes. Yeah, well called. But she finishes with 187 compared to Ken Sheen's 233. Ken Sheen is through to the final. He'll take on Tom Curry. That'll be a great contest. But Anna Milamaki, it's all over for 89. She takes home $2,000 courtesy of Goldpin and Coca-Cola.